Good evening and a warm welcome to all of you here on the news tonight. I'm Tracy Shilji and in the next 30 minutes I'll be getting you the day's top stories from India and across the world. Let's start first with the headlines. A farmer's shocking death resounds in both houses of parliament. Prime Minister Modi calls for setting aside political differences to resolve an age-old problem of farmer suicides. Delhi Police Crime Branch begins investigations into the farmer's death amid protests against the Amadmi Party. Suicide or accident among the central issues to be probed. The stringent Public Safety Act invoked against separatist leader Masrat Alam following detention of at least six months without trial. He's been shifted out of Kashmir to a jail in Jammu. And EU leaders are holding an emergency summit in Brussels to put in place checks on the number of migrants crossing the Mediterranean. Proposals including offering of 5,000 places to resettle them. Our top story, the shocking public death, allegedly a suicide by a farmer at the Amadmi Party rally on Wednesday, dominated proceedings in the Lok Sabha today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said the farmer suicide had been a matter of concern for years, asking political parties to look beyond differences to resolve the issue. The opposition stepped, demands, stepped up, in fact, demands for a judicial probe into the incident. Farmer suicides in focus during zero hour in the Lok Sabha, an age-old issue that hit the limelight after the shocking death in public of a farmer on Wednesday. The Prime Minister himself spoke on the matter in the House, assuring the government was ready to listen to all suggestions from all quarters towards resolving the long-standing problem. I Earlier Home Minister Rajnath Singh briefed the House on developments and the probe, saying investigations had been handed over to the Delhi Police Crime Branch. Singh said the Delhi Police had made an effort to rescue farmer Gajendra Singh after he climbed the tree, but could not save him. He also raised the need for alternate employment for debt-hit farmers. I would like to say that we should also think about this issue, that there is such a big population, 58% का contribution GDP में मात्र 14% क्यों रह गया है अथवा वह क्यों घटता जा रहा है लगातार। The opposition said the incident highlighted the plight of the farmer and the need to change the conditions in which he lives. The Congress called for a judicial probe into the incident, saying numerous questions remain unanswered. Judicial inquiries के बारे में कराएंगे क्योंकि यहाँ पर Chief Minister एक हैं। अब आपने भी इसको मान लिया है तो इसके लिए जुडिशियल इंक्वायरी कीजिए अगर आपके पुलिस के तहत इंक्वायरी करेंगे तो एक तरफा इंक्वायरी आएगा सत्यता बाहर नहीं आएगी। Actually, the National Crime Records Bureau data had revealed that a farmer commits suicide in every 30 minutes. I don't believe that this is an apolitical issue. If this is not a political issue, then what will be? What is the political issue? This is happening in the last 25 years and this is the direct result of neoliberal policies pursued by various successive governments in the last 25 years. Yes. How can the society become so callous and unsympathetic and unresponsive? Again that thing has happened here in Delhi yesterday. The Ahmadmi party said the deceased farmer was a victim of the system. Several MPs said the incident only highlights the potential additional trouble to farmers from the land acquisition bill. Bureau report, Rajya Sabha Television. Well, a discussion on plight of farmers and spate of suicides committed by them was also initiated in the upper house today after the government agreed to, le to the leader of opposition, Gulam Nabi Azad's notice under Rule 267 for suspension of business of the house. Opposition members sought immediate relief measures for farmers from the government, urging a reconsideration of the land acquisition bill. Here's more. Discussions on farmers' plight and suicides finally got underway in the upper house after wrangling over procedures for nearly an hour. Leader of opposition, Gulam Nabi Azad, who had given a notice under Rule 267 for suspension of business of the house on this issue, 
accused the government of not doing enough for the farmers. आप उसका अनाज खरीदोगे नहीं, आपकी उसकी ज़मीन ले लोगे ordinance के दरिये, आप उसको minimum का support price दोगे नहीं, तो क्या करेगा उसके सामने हत्या करने के बगैर रास्ता क्या? Leaders of other opposition parties also sought immediate relief for farmers in terms of compensation, increase in MSP and quick payout by insurance companies. आपने अपने चुनाव घोषणा पत्र में कहा कि मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस तय करते वक्त लागत मूल से डेढ़ गुना उसको तय किया जाएगा। क्या ऐसा हुआ? तीन परसेंट भी नहीं बढ़ाया, पचास परसेंट बढ़ाने की तो बात दूर रही। सीधी रात पहुंच सकती है इंश्योरेंस कंपनी से। याने मैं सुनकर के हैरान हूँ कि उन्होंने कहा कि दो करोड़ केवल केवल मिला और ले लिया है दो हजार करोड़ ऐसा अन्याय जो है वो इतने बरसों से चल रहा है। Former Agriculture Minister Sharad Pawar also asked the minister to ensure quick implementation of relief measures and urged it to shun arrogance on the land acquisition bill. ये निगोसिएशन डायलॉग ये लैंग्वेज ये किसी के साथ बातचीत करने की लैंग्वेज नहीं है इसमें एरोगेंस और मुझे लगता है कि ये एरोगेंस की बात मत करिए इश्यूज होते हैं समस्या फायदा होती है देश के सामने संकट आता है अल्टीमेटली हम सब लोग और हम सब लोगों की जिम्मेदारी इस देश का गरीब आदमी को मदद करने के लिए हम यहाँ आकर बैठे हैं Members from the Treasury benches defended the government on the land acquisition bill, even as they expressed concern on the plight of farmers. कि ये केवल एक प्रोपोगंडा किया जा रहा है कि किसानों की जमीन ली जा रही है किसानों की जमीन ली जा रही है केवल एक खल्ला मचाया जा रहा है वो भी जो कानून बना है पिछली गांव सरकार ने बनाया वो भी अच्छा कानून है लेकिन उसमें कुछ सुधार किए जा रहे हैं तो सुधार की गुंजाइश तो हमेशा रहती है the discussion will continue on Friday after which the government will give its reply. Vishal Dahiya, Rajya Sabha TV, Delhi. And outside Parliament too, the alleged suicide by the farmer had a sharp echo amid protests against the Amadbi party alleging inaction to stop the tragedy and also calls not to politicize it. Investigations also got underway into numerous questions around the incident. Take a look. The morning after the alleged public suicide, protest rallies by the Youth Congress and BJP workers both slamming the Ahmadmi party for insensitivity in its approach to the tragedy. Party workers attacked Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal for continuing with the rally despite the incident and what they termed looking at it purely in political terms. Ahmadmi party ke neta ke torpe Arvind Kejriwal sahab ko उसके सुसाइड करने के बावजूद अपना भाषण उन्होंने जारी रखा कोई संवेदना उस वक्त उन्होंने दिखाई नहीं अगर उस वक्त वो भाषण रोककर जाकर अपील कर लेते तो शायद एक आम आदमी की जान बच सकती थी कांग्रेस पार्टी ये मांग करती है कि इसकी जुडिशियल इंक्वायरी होनी चाहिए एक हाई कोर्ट जज के द्वारा कमीशन ऑफ इंक्वायरीज एक्ट के तहत ताकि Despite calls not to politicize the death, a blame game continues to rage among parties across the political spectrum, fingers being pointed at alleged anti-farmer policies of the government to callousness by the Ahmadmi party. On its part, the AAP announced compensation for the deceased farmer as it hit out, claiming it had been let down by the Delhi police controlled by the center. Party leaders called it a deliberate conspiracy by the center to shift the blame. कल जिस तरह से चैनल्स ने बाकी जिन्हें चलाई चैनल अपनी वो सब वुडे वीडियो फुटेज भी चलाएगा हमारे पास तो है ही लेकिन आपके पास ज्यादा थी जिसमें बार बार संजय भाई मैं लगातार हम कह रहे थे पुलिस क्या काम कर रही है पुलिस कहाँ है जब वो चढ़ रहा था तब हम बार बार कह रहे थे देश के माननीय गृह मंत्री जी ने लोकतंत्र की सर्वोच्च संस्था संसद के अंदर खड़े होकर अभी एक ऐसा झूठ बोला गृह मंत्री जी ने कहा कि दिल्ली पुलिस को अपना काम नहीं करने दिया गया दिल्ली पुलिस को उतारने नहीं दिया गया जबकि कल ही दिल्ली पुलिस के स्पेशल सीपी श्री मीणा जी ने कहा कि उतारने का काम हमारा नहीं तो देश के गृह मंत्री जो बोल रहे हैं दिल्ली पुलिस कुछ और बोल रही है 
The Delhi Lieutenant Governor and Police Chief met Home Minister Rajnath Singh this morning on the probe. Issues like whether the death was a suicide or an accident, whether it was instigated by the crowd and the man's background are likely to be the focus of the probe. कलका जो दुखद इंसिडेंट था उसके बारे में एक रिपोर्ट हमने गृह मंत्रालय को सौंपी है मैं किसी भी आरोप के ऊपर में जो है अपना अभी विचार व्यक्त नहीं करना चाहूंगा क्योंकि अभी मामला अंडर इन्वेस्टिगेशन है इन्वेस्टिगेशन कंप्लीट हो जाने के बाद में जो भी फैक्ट्स सामने आएंगे उसके बारे में आपको जानकारी दे दी जाएगी Deceased farmer Gajendra Singh was cremated in his hometown Dawsa in Rajasthan on Thursday. It remains unclear to what extent he himself faced losses from the unseasonal rains. Watchers say another aspect to be seen ahead is to what extent Gajendra Singh becomes the face of the anti-land bill agitation. Bureau report, Rajya Sabha Television. And changing focus now with most states on board, the government proposes to take up for consideration passage a cons constitution amendment bill in the Lok Sabha tomorrow to roll out the goods and services tax. The BJP is likely to issue a whip to its members asking them to be present at the time of passage of the constitution amendment bill that requires two-thirds majority. Once the constitution amendment bill is approved, it will have to be ratified by half of the states. The bill on GST was introduced in the Lok Sabha last December. The government proposes to roll out the new indirect tax regime from the 1st of April next year. On Wednesday, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley also had held discussions with state finance ministers on the roadmap for rolling out GST. Most states, barring Tamil Nadu, gave their assent on its provisions. The government has been uh, toying with the idea of pushing uh, several reforms and I think GST is one of the major reforms. The particular legislation was already introduced in the House in December and the Business Advisory Committee has allotted time for it. And, think, and I think uh, there is a general consensus with the states as far as the first stage of the bill is concerned. It's a three-stage bill which is the GST bill and I presume that tomorrow uh, the GST discussion would be taken up in the House. A quick break here and up next, the death toll in Bihar's storm rises to 68 as the state fears loss of crops worth in crores. India's star shining in global affairs. The professional army of any country does not have faith, piety and jihad in the name of God. From regional power to assertive global leader. Sri Lanka denies that uh, these violations took place. We want India to be a superpower. We have been doing everything for decades and we have been giving to India everything best we have. Experts debate the nation's foreign policy. We should not have any political preference of ours so far as Nepal is concerned. Taliban were the creatures of Pakistan. Whatever people may say, they were created by Pakistan. India's world with Bharat Bhushan on Rajya Sabha Television. Welcome back. You're watching the news tonight. Let's get you some news for the valley now. And tightening the news on separatist leader Masrat Alam Bhatt, Jammu and Kashmir government today slapped the stringent Public Safety Act against him. He has been charged under a law that will allow the state to keep him in jail for two years without trial. Alam was shifted to the Kod Bhalwal jail outside the valley. In fact, Alam was arrested on the 17th of April over sedition charges as well as waging a war against the state. He was found chanting anti-national slogans during a rally organized for Hurid conference leader Syed Ali Shah Gilani. Masrat Alam was released on the 7th of March by the PDP-BJP coalition government, triggering a controversy. He is accused of organizing stone-throwing protests in the valley in 2010, during which more than 100 people had died in police firing. Now, the debate on whether juveniles must be tried as adults in case of heinous crimes has cropped up once again. Lawyers and activists have openly denounced the move, calling it a gross violation of basic child rights. The cabinet cleared amendments to the existing Juvenile Justice Act yesterday. The cabinet nod to the proposed amendments in the Juvenile Justice Act received a mixed response. It was applauded and derided in equal measure by politicians, activists, lawyers and other stakeholders. The proposal opens up the possibility to try juveniles in the age group of 16 to 18 years as adults in case of heinous crimes. 
BJP leader Subramanian Swami, who had first filed a petition seeking changes in the juvenile law, welcomed the decision. I was going to the Supreme Court. I was going to ask the question, he is not a child, he is an adult. Cutting across party lines, several other leaders also hailed the decision, calling it the need of the hour. If children of the same age are sanguine in the same age, then they should be in the same way that they should be in the same way that they should be in the same way. We have seen that the people of the past 2-4 years have seen that the people of the past 16-18 years have seen that the people of the past 16-18 years उन्होंने गंभीर निर्भया का केस लीजिए, शक्ति मिल का केस लीजिए, इस तरह के केसों में उन्होंने सहभागी होकर वो गंभीर गुनाह किए हैं। एक्सपेरिमेंट बेसिस पर अभी ये कानून बदला गया है। Parents of December 16 gang rape victim also welcomed the decision, hoping that it will be implemented soon. एक बहुत अच्छी बात है ये कि कम से कम हमारी सरकार ने पहल तो की है, अब ये पहल की है तो � एक प्लेट फार्म बनता है तो उस पर हर चीज आगे आगे चलता है तो जब कानून बना है तो इस पर अमल भी होगा हवेवर चाइल्ड राइट्स एक्टिविस्ट आर अपोज टू द चेंजेस इन द जुवेनाइल लॉ दे कॉशन दैट दीज अमेंडमेंट्स विल अंडरमाइन एफर्ट्स टू रिहैबिलिटेट जुवेनाइल्स दे आर्ग्यू दैट सच अ स्ट्रिंज मूव कुड हैव अ लॉन्ग टर्म इेपरेबल इम्पैक्ट डोंट थ्रो द चाइल्ड इन द क्रिमिनल जस्टिस सिस्टम बिकॉज इट्स गोइंग टू बी डिवास्टेटिंग यू कैन एक्सटेंड द नंबर ऑफ इयर्स कीप द चाइल्ड फॉर सिक्स ईयर्स इन द Juvenile home. Earlier, the Parliamentary Standing Committee had also rejected the proposal after extensive deliberations. But with the Cabinet giving it a go-ahead, the amendment to the existing Act will be introduced in the ongoing session of Parliament. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. Meanwhile, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi is to begin a two-day trek to Kedarnath in Uttarakhand today. He turned down a plan to airlift him to the Hindu shrine. Rahul Gandhi arrived in Dehradun today. He proceeded to Gaurikund on a chopper from where he will begin his trek. The Congress Vice President is accompanied by Senior Congress Leader Ambika Soni and Uttarakhand Chief Minister Harish Rawat and State Congress President Kishore Upadhyay. Though it's being described as a personal visit, Rahul Gandhi is expected to inspect the preparations for the pilgrimage season that starts tomorrow. He will also inspect the rehabilitation and rebuilding work in the valley that was devastated by flash floods in 2013. Remember, this is Rahul's first trip outside Delhi since he returned from his 57-day sabbatical. With that, let's give you some updates from across the country and nationwide. Death toll in the Bihar storm has gone up to 68. North and northeastern districts of Bihar were affected, causing deaths and damaging crops and property worth several crores of rupees due to the heavy storm and torrential rains on Tuesday night. Chief Minister Nitish Kumar made an aerial survey of affected areas this morning and uh, held a meeting with officials. In fact, uh, Nitish Kumar said that there has been extensive damage to crops. Electricity supply has been disrupted as well. Prime Minister Modi has assured all assistance to the state from the centre. The Supreme Court has said that the National Judicial Appointments Commission bill will only deal with appointment of existing additional judges of high courts whose tenures are ending in immediate future. The court had dismissed the conflict of interest objection and declared itself fit to hear petitions challenging the constitutional validity of the NJAC Act. Meanwhile, the centre also assured that no fresh appointments of High Court and Supreme Court judges will be made until the validity of the new collegium system is done by the top court. A day after breaking the losing streak, market saw a slump again today. The Sensex ended down by 155 points and Nifty lost over 30 points. 12 stocks dropped to a new 52-week low so far on the National Stock Exchange. Delhi police has filed a charge sheet against three accused arrested in the corporate espionage case. The accused faced charges of leaking confidential documents from the Petroleum Ministry. The court has fixed the 1st of May for consideration of the charge sheet against the three accused. Lashkar e Toiba bomb expert Abdul Karim Tunda was today discharged by a Delhi court in connection with two separate blast cases. He was discharged by the court which said that there was no prima facie evidence against him to proceed. He was accused in the blast in Karolbagh on October 28, 1997 and two blasts in Sadar Bazar on the 1st of October in 1997. However, he will have to remain in jail as there is one more case pending against him in Delhi. And coming up next, we're getting you all the international updates. Iran nuclear talks resume in Vienna to try and negotiate details of the deal struck earlier this month.
न्यू गवर्नमेंट इन न्यू डेली न्यू फेसेस पीपल आर नॉट इन्वेस्टिंग बिकॉज दे आर स्केर ऑफ योर टैक्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन न्यू थिंकिंग ऑक्शन प्रोसेस is a fair and good process we cannot have a one size fit all reform policy for insights and perspective judiciary should be more concerned about corruption within itself the modi government slogan of acche din aane wale hain soon the people slogan will be hamare purane din lauta do the biggest show on economic policy watch state of the economy हमारे जीवन में बदलाव लाने वाले विज्ञान के ऐतिहासिक प्रयोगों जिन्होंने एक्सरे पेनिसिलिन हरित क्रांति ग्रीन हाउस प्रभाव अर्ध चालकों और रक्त समूहों की खोजों में योगदान दिया आप जानेंगे पाचन की प्रक्रिया मॉर्गन ग्रिफिथ और सर सीबी रमन के प्रयोगों को डॉक्यूमेंट्री सीरीज कुछ तुक्के कुछ तीर में हर रविवार सुबह आठ बजे सिर्फ राज्य टीवी पर Let's get to some international news now. And EU leaders have uh, reached Brussels to hold an emergency summit on ways to stem the number of migrants crossing the Mediterranean. Draft proposals for the meeting include offering 5,000 places for their resettlement. More than 800 people drowned off Libya's coast on Sunday, bringing the number of such deaths this year to 1,750. After hundreds died in the Mediterranean, and at least 10,000 more were rescued this past week alone. The European Union is holding an emergency summit in Brussels to address the crisis. The tragedies have sparked huge public outrage and the EU is under pressure to act fast. Leaders are expected to agree to double the EU's search and rescue effort at sea, but there are calls for Europe to do more and get to the root of the crisis in Africa. Draft proposals for the meeting include offering 5000 places for resettlement of the migrants. One of the proposals also calls for destruction of boats before migrants get on board. Euh, les bateaux, euh, ils ne se créent pas tout seuls. Il y a des gens qui sont euh, des criminels, euh, des terroristes même, on peut dire, qui euh, tirent profit euh, de la misère. Et dans euh, le texte qui va être euh, proposé cet après-midi au chef d'État et de gouvernement... Ma... Questo tipo di priorità è quella che noi chiediamo all'Unione Europea che voglia essere qualcosa di diverso da un... assemblea di paesi membri di un club economico e che voglia essere qualcosa di diverso da un dotto club di specialisti tecnici che conoscono tutte le principali dinamiche geopolitiche. Germany has called for a fairer distribution of migrants arriving in Europe and says people smugglers must be fought against. Tragödie bei der um die 950 Menschen ums Leben gekommen sind, dass wir unsere Seenotrettung verbessern müssen, aber auch dass wir reden müssen in Europa über Verteilung von Flüchtlingen dass wir Meanwhile an Italian court will hold a hearing on Friday to listen to the accounts of survivors of the recent tragedy Italian authorities are continuing to investigate the captain and a crew member of the boat who were arrested they are charged with reckless multiple homicide and supporting illegal immigration Bureau report Rajya Sabha TV Meanwhile, talks on Iran's nuclear issue resumed today in Vienna with a bilateral meeting between EU representative and Iran's deputy foreign minister Arakchi. Iran and six world powers are negotiating the details of the tentative deal that was reached on the 2nd of April. The timing and scope of sanctions relief remain major sticking points in talks. Iran said that all sanctions must be lifted simultaneously for any nuclear deal to take effect. The United States has made it clear that sanctions on Iran would have to be phased out gradually under the final pact. Talks between Iran and the six powers, including U.S. Under Secretary Wendy Sherman, will follow this week. We believe that the solutions we came to in in Lausanne and, and before that was uh, crystal clear. We don't believe on a phase uh, process on economic and financial sanctions. All of them should be uh, removed or terminated immediately when the JCPOA is a start to start to be implemented. And let's give you more updates from around the world in Global Buzz. Islamic State jihadist group have claimed responsibility for an attack on police in South Yemen that killed at least 29 people. The IS has claimed its first attack in Yemen on the March of 20th that killed 142 people and injured more than 350. Meanwhile, the situation remains tense in Yemen. Saudi military continues efforts to stop Houthi militants from making further advances. 
French Minister Manuel Valls revealed on Thursday that five terror attacks had been foiled in France in recent months. Valls said a 24-year-old student was arrested for an alleged plot to attack a church. France has heightened surveillance of potential suspects and deployed troops to patrol sensitive sites after the Charlie Hebdo attack. The U.S. has accused Russia of violating the Minsk ceasefire agreement by deploying more air defense systems in Ukraine. Both Ukraine and pro-Russia separatists signed a truce, a, a truce which was brokered by the U.S., though Russia has denied supporting Ukraine. Volcano Calbuco in southern Chile erupted for the first time in more than four decades on Wednesday, which covered the city with thick plume of ash and smoke. About 4,000 people had so far been removed out of the area. An evacuation radius of 20 kilometers had also been established. And now let's get you some updates from the world of sports. World number one Saina Neval entered the Asian Championship quarters today, winning a tough match against Japan's Nozumi Okuhara. Saina won 21-14, 10-21, 21-10 uh, in a women's singles match. Pini Sindhu as well continued her rampage, beating Macau's Teng Lok U comfortably with 21-8, 21-9. But there was disappointment for the top men's shuttler Parupali Kashyap at the Asian Championship. He lost 23-21, 17-21, 8-21 to 7 seeder Zhengming Wang of China. Wang won the match, defeating Kashyap in a grueling game. More trouble brewing for Boxing India as Boxing India fights to get recognition from the Indian Olympic Association. The BI officials are busy in an executive committee meeting. There are speculations that President Sandeep Jajodia might resign. There is growing clamour for his removal from 29 of the 32 state associations. Members say there is a sense of disconnect with Jajodia. Rafael Nadal East past Spanish compatriot Nicolas Almagro 6-3-6-1. To reach the Barcelona Open third round on Wednesday, Nadal, whose 2014 season was wrecked by illness and injury, began his bid for a ninth title on play. In the other game, third seeded David Ferrer uh, eased past fellow countryman Albert Montanez 6-2-6-3. And that's all we could pack in this Thursday evening. Join us again tomorrow for the latest top stories. Thank you.